How long have you lived here? How many years? Four years. Now four years and three, three months. We came to Fargo Airport mm -hmm. and then there was a taxi waiting outside. It was really chilly, it wasn't snowing. My brother and I went outside the airport door and we ran and it was so chilly. And then we just came back and stayed inside. And we look outside, hey, there's no buildings out there. Because in the park, like we have seen like, like uh, buildings from New, New York. That's what I thought in my mind. It would be like, oh, there, there's farm out there. Uh, and then, you know, that, that was a picture of <laughs> being born in a refugee camp. We all knew in our back of our head that that going to school meant really nothing. Yeah. My grandma died uh, when I was like 11, mm -hmm. and that was really hard for me too. And then everyone, yeah. like, I really started questioning who I was after my grandma died. Like, no, I don't even know what, how she died. I never thought that I would actually go to a college that would mean something to me, you know, that I would actually make something something that's meaningful, you know. Now, I have everything, you know, I could go out there, work hard, and then be whatever I want to be. I think most of the things parents do, I mean, my parents don't speak English or anything. I look, I check my mail for my dad, I look at the bank account, I learned, I taught myself how to do taxes, I did my parents' taxes, and then I I look at my parents' account like regular basis and we have made a habit of savings too. Mm -hmm. So we have done a lot and then we are thinking to buy a house soon too. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of that with my parents too. You know, the, they were, we came here and then we expected that we had to do everything by ourselves. But we didn't actually. There were like people who were interpreting for us and then taking us to hospital to get vaccinated and stuff like that to get us started. I grew up and there's people who helped me and then people who were around me really made me feel like I wasn't different, you know. I wasn't different at all. I started playing soccer, I started meeting people, I started talking with them. Even though I I probably couldn't speak properly, I would still go out there and talk to people and, and then after that, I decided, what what am I going to do with myself if I don't? Yeah. But as a, as a human being, we, I think it should be our responsibility to help those who are in need. You know? And if I get, like, if I become successful, I wouldn't just stay back and, and live my own life. I would go up there, help people, you know? And then, yeah, when I hear, like, anything refugee in news, I just get, you know, emotional and then, you know. Talking about those refugee uh, people, when I see them, I see myself, you know. That's the only reason that, that makes me so emotional and, and touched by this. I think it's my duty to be educated and be someone important to make my voice heard. I never know what happens. But one thing I know is that like I won't sit back and look at people suffering around the world and then just do nothing, you know. That's what I can say.